What's going on guys? Caboose here and I wanted to make a video on a subject that I actually get asked about quite a lot and after doing some research it seems that a lot of people on the internet want to know the same thing. What are the best games to play while stoned? So without further ado, I give you my personal list of games that would be great to experience while stoned. I'm going to touch on a few titles here and each one for different reasons. I see multiple categories that would make a certain game an extremely satisfying experience while smoking some righteous buds, and I'm going to choose a game from each category that I've chosen. First off, the game that jumps out at me immediately while making this video is Superhot. Superhot is an independent first person shooter game developed and published by the Superhot team. Though the game follows traditional first person shooter gameplay mechanics, with the player attempting to take out enemy targets using guns and other weapons, time within the game only progresses when the player moves, and this creates the opportunity for the player to assess their situation and respond appropriately, making gameplay similar to strategy video games. The game is presented in a minimalist art style, with enemies in red and weapons in black, and those are in contrast to the otherwise white and gray environment. I think I said it within my first 10 minutes of playing through the beginning levels of this game, but I'll say it again. Superhot is the most unique game I have played on this latest generation of consoles, creating its own category of gameplay somewhere in between a first person shooter and a time management puzzle game, Superhot takes every attempt at a level and turns it into a mind blowing experience while delivering a serious feeling of satisfaction and pride to the player. The fact that the game moves at a pace that you set is already a trippy experience, but fresh after a couple bong rips and you will feel like Neo making his way through the metal detectors towards the end of the first Matrix movie. You really feel like a badass as you dodge bullets, deliver precise punches, needle threading gunshots, and the occasional gun throw when you realize your magazine is empty. On top of the real time in game experience, every level is played back to you at normal speed once completed, making you look like Jesus Christ himself as you watch yourself take down wave after wave of enemies with perfect execution and the most fluid of movement. The hybrid gameplay and minimalistic art style of Super Hot has earned the right to be mentioned first in my list of games to play while high. The next title worth mentioning gets put on this list for the therapeutic aspect of gameplay. Something you can throw in your disk drive and just get away for a long period of time without having to work or really think too hard. Also, this game happens to double as a great game to get drunk to and enjoy with a bunch of friends. Of course, I'm talking about Sea of Thieves. Having created the most realistic water physics combined with the animated art style of the game, Sea of Thieves is a wonderful game with a beautifully crafted world that when paired with a heady strain of cannabis can provide the perfect setting for an immersive, relaxing experience. Although this game has gotten slammed for an extremely limited and repetitive gameplay loop, the gameplay itself is like I said, therapeutic. With no ability to fast travel, you must make your way from island to island using your compass, your map, your crew, and of course your ship. With a lot of time simply getting from one place to another, you can pass time by playing instruments as a crew, getting plastered off of ale, shooting each other out of the cannons, and much much more. And these elements somehow are enjoyable time after time. The beautifully crafted world and water, combined with the most enjoyable pirate experience, has gotten Sea of Thieves onto my list of best games to play while stoned for the therapeutic gameplay loop and the ease of jumping in and out of the action at your own leisure. Now I've touched on uniqueness of gameplay as a category, as well as the therapeutic calming aspect of the beautiful Sea of Thieves. Now I want to get into realism, and going hand in hand with realism is immersion. Sometimes you just get so goddamn high that you feel like you're actually in the game. There has been one series of games for me that when I feel the need for immersion, I know where to look. Battlefield. Dating all the way back to the release of Battlefield 3 on the Xbox 360, PS3, and PC, Battlefield, in my opinion, has taken the first place spot away from Call of Duty by providing the best first person shooter experience through and through. Whether you want to immerse yourself in full on war or scale down the matches to a 10 on 10 slower paced team deathmatch, Battlefield provides the game modes and server settings to really allow yourself to find the right match for you. For the most immersive experience alone, I found that the hardcore team deathmatch provides exactly what I'm looking for. A realistic gameplay experience where I'm constantly checking corners and playing through the game scenarios with a rational thought process. But that's just me. Conquest mode is pretty clearly the bread and butter of the Battlefield franchise, and Conquest delivers the same immersive, realistic experience, just on a way larger scale, and obviously, the addition of vehicles of mass destruction. Battlefield's marketing campaign hit the nail right on the head. There are moments that really only happen in Battlefield, and it's these insane immersive moments that drop your jaw to the floor that have earned Battlefield the top spot for most immersive game to play while stoned. 
So those are some games that, in my opinion, rise to the top of the gameplay categories I chose. Now there are a lot of games out there, so let's hit on a handful more in a rapid fire honorable mention section. Geometry Wars. The trippy visuals and an easy to learn gameplay style make for an out of this world easy to pick up experience. On top of the visuals, this game is paired with an awesome audio playlist to match the colorful chaos that is always occurring on screen. Grand Theft Auto V for the immersive factor. The amazing single player story paired with the ability to do pretty much anything you want in GTA V Online earns it the spot to be one of the best games to simply fuck around in while stoned. Cuphead. The visual style and the beautifully crafted hand-drawn world of Cuphead surely gets the title in honorable mentions. However, the extreme difficulty of the game takes it back a bit as you can be frustrated easily and put down the controller quite quickly after seeing nothing but failure. And not to mention, if you're stoned, your patience runs thin way quicker. Steep. Talk about therapeutic. Steep opens up the Alps, Asia, and Alaskan mountains to you, and the cascading white powder is yours to traverse at your own free will. Switching the game soundtrack to the chill playlist creates an extremely calm and relaxing experience as you find your way down the massive mountains that populate the open world map of Steep. And last, but certainly not least, The Witcher 3 possibly my favorite RPG experience of all time. If you're looking for something to just sit down next to your bong and immerse yourself in long periods of gameplay in a rich RPG world, The Witcher 3 is for you. Fluid combat, an amazing story, and absolutely fantastic DLC has earned The Witcher 3 a spot in my list of games to play while stoned. Thanks for checking out the video guys. I just want to reiterate that this is not my list of the best games to play while stoned. It's my list of suggestions of games that would make absolutely great experiences paired with a heady strain of cannabis. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I will definitely get back to you. And until next time, I'll see you guys.